guys, it's Sarah time. As you can see from the title of this video, Mitchell and I made a very exciting purchase. We bought a bus. If you follow me on Instagram, then you know this is actually our second bus. We originally bought a bus in July of 2020. It needed a new engine, and so we took it to a mechanic, got a new engine, but it's had to go back a few more times, and every time it goes back to the mechanic, it's there for a couple weeks. So we haven't gotten to do too much on it, and we really wanted to go on a few road trips this summer. So when Mitchell was on Craigslist one time, as he does, he found this one school bus that was pretty much fully converted already, like a completed schoolie, and he showed it to me. And he kind of showed it to me as a joke, but when I saw the price and the state the bus was in, I kind of was like, wait, that's a pretty good deal. We should maybe look into that some more. So Mitchell messaged the seller, and thankfully he got right back to us because it was pretty late at night. Um, and we made plans to see it the next day. We wanted to see it as soon as we could because we thought it was such a great deal. We didn't want to lose out on this opportunity. I filmed us seeing the bus the next day to get one our initial reaction, but then also to show you guys kind of like what questions we asked and what we looked for when we were considering whether or not to buy the bus. So I'm gonna be showing you guys the process of seeing the bus, considering buying it, and then in the end purchasing it right now. All right, let's go pick I'm up so our excited. bus baby. Where is it? There it, there it is. is. Oh my gosh. Dang. It's so cool. Those are nice blackout colors. I mean, I don't love the brown. That's yeah. Cool. Hello. Hey, uh, this is Mitchell. We were talking to you about your bus. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, we pulled up. Um, it wasn't too hard to find the bus. So, so we're just kind of sitting okay, by so you it. Found it. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah. Cool. We're, uh, we're about to pull in and be right there. Okay, sounds good. Do you mind if we look around the bus or anything? Yeah, yeah, go for it, man. Awesome. Thank you. Hey, don't forget the mask. Let's go. Bus stop, baby. Mm -hmm. Gotta look good for the bus. First impressions make a, uh, make a difference. <laughs> make a <them> matter. <laughs> look at that cute little like trailer thing. Yeah, I think they'd be cute to have one day. Yeah. Interesting. They padlocked it instead of did something oh, on the inside of it. That is I don't know if I like that because you can pick these really easily. That's safe. You, but not most people. Yeah, but all it takes is one person. Yeah, watching one YouTube video. Dang. And like a $10 lockpick set. Yeah, for, yeah the paint job is actually pretty good. Pan. Looks like the paint from this is like staining yeah. the rest of it. Yeah. That's actually not that bad. I feel like a lot of these have really bad paint jobs because most people yeah, just do it themselves and don't take the prime time to sand and prime. Oh, they put a bar in there. So you can't oh, open? Is it unlocked? No, 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 no. You said we could look around. Yeah, look around. Oh, cute. Oh, cute. We should ask them how they did that. Like well, if they have look. any advice, too. I don't think that looks hard. Okay, cool. So I know cool. some people actually just put a real door, but yeah. I like the no, bus doors, really cool. you know? Yeah. yeah. Like if you buy a bus, that's kind of one of the fun, cute factors. Yeah, for real. Hmm. Yeah, another thing about this, though, is you can't open it from the inside, then. I, I think we'll probably tweak that and yeah. get rid of that. What's up? Y'all's bus? Yeah. That's it. <laughs> How you doing? Good, you? So as you just saw, when we first got there, we kind of just looked at the outside of the bus. The outside is this really cool, like, army green color. And green is actually the color we considered for our first bus because it's currently white, but we wanted to paint it some fun color. And although it's not a shade that I probably would have picked myself, I probably would have gone with more of like a forest green or like a sage green. And like I said, this is more of an army green. But the paint job is pretty well done and it's still pretty cute in my opinion. So we're just gonna keep it how it is. Next, the owner arrived and showed us the whole electrical system. The bus, thankfully, already has solar panels, which is one of the things that made me think it was such a great deal. Mitchell thinks the system could be improved a little bit. He wants to add a few more batteries so that we don't have to ration our energy uses, usage as much when we're on the road. Plug. And then this is like, say you're parked at someone's house, mm -hmm. you just okay. plug that into an extension cord. Perfect. And that plugs into the back side of your house. How hard is it to add extra batteries to this? Extra like, are batteries? They, are they lead acid batteries? They're the, they're the liquid ones. Um, they're... Like car batteries? Yeah, but they're like the heavy duty at commercial grade mm -hmm. ones. They're brand new, so we haven't had any issues with okay. running them at all. And then we got to go inside the bus and like, oh my gosh, did we love it? Like right away. One of my favorite parts is that it has a futon couch that pulls out into a bed. 
and it actually has three seat belts in it so we could go on a road trip with like another couple friends and they could actually ride safely with seat belts because in the bus that we're converting ourselves the floor plan we have drawn up will only have the driver and a passenger but this way we can travel with friends as well It's a, and it turns into a bed too. <laughs> How does it go down? Like this. Oh, that looks nice. Oh, okay. yeah, and, then we, like, and then we put a sheet here. And right. That's a pretty good size. size. But it holds three people on it, belted in. Oh, yeah, we have two. Yeah, three seat belts. Oh, nice. We like to see how it comes out so your parts of the cast fight can get a nice view. And, and, this and this doubles. Print your feet, shower. whatever. He wants to hook it up there. I wanted to get like a little hook mm -hmm. here. So, so you like, could just have it smart. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. But I was thinking more for like feet. Well. <laughs> right. yeah. yeah, yeah, not one of the pressure ones. Yeah, so it's an electronic water pump. Oh, oh okay. yeah. I just we didn't put handles on it because like son and daughter will just start pulling the doors yeah. open constantly, <laughs> so we left it like clean like that. Yeah, I mean, you could grab good. it by that piece, but so you could that's add fine. handles if you wanted yeah. to. Yeah. You turn all of the solar and electric yeah. stuff on, so okay. you'll hear the inverter in the back pop on. It takes a minute to kind of start warming up the gears and everything in there. Okay. I was going to say, they don't have no the air like you guys have. No. Right. Oh, they have no escape hatch there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no escape hatch in this one. Because they have like, because they have the two big doors. Um, yeah, yeah, I like, gotcha. And it was in 1987. I don't think they really. Believe <laughs> it. This is right. It feels really good, oh, actually. Really? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's a good. Yeah, that's a brand new mattress. Okay. So could we like run a microwave off the other one? Do you think? How do you do the batteries in here? It's on a frame mount. Okay. You plug your left foot. That's a big commercial. Turned off right away. Story. Yeah, that's what that three. Yeah. Yeah, so work. those, the rod bearing said because they're moving, it's good. It's easier to work and you just take it right out. So, yeah, so it was the mouse key to get in and out. Um, yeah, yeah, I just showed him that. So here's the like little storage area. A little bit of storage up in here. I just, we mainly just kept like cleaning supplies. It is, the solar comes up through here, all the wirings on the back side of this. This, you just get the app and you can control it from your phone. Mm, nice. This big giant butcher block countertop, obviously. Um, so we didn't do the stove because we didn't feel like, we wanted to be out camping. Mm -hmm. We wanted to be yeah. outside as much as possible. So you'd be stuck inside stove, cooking yeah. if you yeah. were to have it in here. So we had just had like the- Dude, you like a George like, Farmer or Yeah, we just had like the little, Camp stove. Kind of like camp yeah. stove, okay. Coleman yeah, camp stove. So we'd propane. be outside yeah. if it's bad weather, so we'd at least be in here doing it. Gotcha. So you had like the extra counter space, which is nice. Mm -hmm. And it kind of enclosed the fridge. So it got a full size fridge. So it's got like an actual proper like fridge and freezer. Mm -hmm. So you don't have the problem of like the freezer yeah. melting yeah. and uh, ice yeah. and water getting Ooh. everywhere. Mm -hmm. you know. Do you know how much water it holds? Yes, yeah, so those are seven gallon tanks. Okay. Um, are those both? Fresh or? No, so this One's is gray water, this right? is the gray. So I have the gray tank still has the wrapper on it, so I know. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then you just go to a grocery store and fill this up with the fresh water there. It's like, mm -hmm. I think it's like something. It's like thirty cents a gallon, something mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. There's no way to overflow the gray because it's the exact same yeah. size yeah. tank. Mm -hmm. And then there's an extra seven gallon tank in the oh, back, yeah. so you can have. So you'll have fourteen gallons of water okay. in total for a trip. One of the weird things is that it doesn't have headrests. I feel like you'd snap your neck. I was trying to open Ready? the fridge earlier and you couldn't you open it. Yeah, me neither. And now I see that there were yeah. child locks. These are perfect for Piper. <laughs> it kept me out. How do you get in? I wonder if she get that off. I don't know. It's kind of hard to do. You could like slide it. How do you get it back on? Oh my gosh. I am the child. You, there's like a little tab. Oh, yeah. yeah. So you have to undo the tab and then okay. yeah. Yeah, I don't think Piper's getting that off unless it's like one time of an accident. Yeah. But that's all it takes, so. <laughs> yeah, for real. And then she's gonna be snacking. <laughs> so exciting. You know, these are like a taupe cream, right? Mm -hmm. From the outside, they look brown. Because these are so tinted, the windows. Oh, yeah. Which is good. Mm -hmm. Keep out some of the. I'm sure the tinted window. We should name this best Thomas. 
<laughs> or was naming an account? I feel like both of those are cute names. We should do that. Every bus we buy, we name it after the person we bought it from. So wait, does someone sit in the middle? Because you look like you're taking up almost the whole seat. Yeah, but there are three seatbelts. Try and sit in the center. How uncomfortable is it sitting on that line? We'll put our least favorite friend there. <laughs> Cut to a future clip of <laughs> one of our friends sitting there. <laughs> That's not bad. You don't like feel no, the like hardware bad. inside? The... No. Okay. And then finally, after inspecting the whole thing, liking what we saw, and deciding and talking about the few things we would want to change about it, we decided to buy the bus. We bought the bus. Bought the bus. Wow. When we bring this one home, our neighbors are gonna think we just got yeah. ours painted. <laughs> the neighbors are gonna be pissed. This is official. The first time getting in it yeah. as the owners of it. I love hey. these floor mats. They said they just cut up like an actual doormat that they bought from Amazon. But I think it's genius. Oh, yeah. Hey, look. <gasps> we have made ones or whatever. Yeah, we can put like, this is for Sarah, that one's for Mitchell. And then like two for guests. Yeah, two for guests. Nice. I even like like the colors of everything. I like the smell you know I mean? of it in here too. So yeah, cool. it smells like they had essential oils or some mm -hmm. air freshener Which in here. I would want. Yeah, we get a diffuser. Yeah, Especially if this is the there. no pet one, because a lot of essential oils are not good for pets. Oh, it's nice. It felt nice. It's good. Really? I want to get in. <sighs> Which way do you think you put the head? I'm going to sit back here. I say you put the head over here. Yeah, because like this is like a headboard. Yeah. Really sad. We will be adding a microwave though, for sure. I don't know where, where? we'll put it. Okay. I don't care. I'm having a microwave. <laughs> no question. We don't even have a microwave at home. I know. That's why I need <laughs> one in my bus. That feels good. So much room. We have a bus. Oh, we have two buses. Yeah. We sorry. have one bus this that's done on the inside. We have another one. <laughs> no. He did such a good job on I it. I know. I think so too. Because we see a lot on Craigslist that yeah. are, they list for more than this, and then they're really bad. <laughs> It'd be nice to figure out how to put a composting toilet in here. Mm -hmm. They don't know where. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like, we could just have it like slide out or something. That's kind of what I'm thinking. You just poop in the middle of the room. <laughs> yeah. I mean, gotta do what you gotta we're do. We're all friends here. Yeah. <laughs> the bus did need to see a mechanic, and so we were gonna have it towed, not to like mess with the engine further. The tow people couldn't be there for about two hours, but like that was totally fine with us because at the time, all we wanted to do was sit in our new bus, admire our purchase, and talk about you know future road trips you're gonna take in the thing. I'm ready to take a nap. What time is the tow people getting here? I'm taking a nap. Okay. It's more than 30 minutes I'm taking a nap. We need to what put some built-in like oh, iPhone holders. Yeah. It's I not do, bad, but... I do think that uh, we'll need to figure out some AC. Even if it's just like a little portable, like you charge it up for a couple hours and you get like a couple hours mm -hmm. of runtime or something. Um, but I think that will definitely be needed in the right. winter time. Yeah, because it's not bad today, but today's yeah. a really breezy day. It's right. around 60 some, right. so. Like it was getting a little warm, so I opened the window and then it was perfectly yeah. fine. But it's because outside is perfectly nice today. No, we're excited though. I'm excited. This is the best thing ever. I know, this is like. We already have a bus, yeah. but we started that one from scratch and we're still working on it. Right. So it's nice to have a second bus right. and already have it done. I know. Ah. Yeah, we're a little impatient sometimes. A bit. Just a little bit. We actually had the bus towed to our house because we weren't sure at the time if we were going to use the same mechanic we'd been using for our other bus because he kind of takes a long time sometimes. But um, it's been great having it in our driveway because we've spent the night in there a few times and did a little staycation glamping in our own driveway which is really fun and the bed is so comfortable actually it was also convenient to have in our driveway because I was wanting to decorate it a little bit more and just make the space a little bit more ours and it was right there in the driveway for me to go you know take some measurements and uh, think about how I wanted to decorate the space so be on the lookout for a future decorating the bus video the tow truck is here but I don't want to get up the bed is seriously so comfortable
It's home and it's ours. And I love it. I love it. You're probably dirty, but I love you. I'm so excited. We did end up picking a name for the bus. We were debating between Calvin because the guy who sold us the bus, his name was Calvin. And I like saw it in a document and I was like, oh no, that's kind of a cute name. Or we were thinking Thomas because the name of the bus manufacturer thing is like Thomas manufacturing something. And Thomas is then written all over the bus because they made the bus. In the end, we decided to go with Calvin because we thought that was a lot more original than Thomas because Thomas bus people, whatever their company is called, makes a lot of buses. So I'm sure there are a lot of buses out there that people have named Thomas for their schoolies. Whereas Calvin is a little bit more original. And in the future, we plan to get a few more buses to convert and then rent out. And so we kind of thought it would be cute if we like each bus we get, we named it after the person we bought it from. That's just an idea though. Who knows, maybe the next bus we buy will be from someone whose name we don't like. So who knows? <laughs> we can't wait for future road trips in this thing. We're already planning a trip to Maine. Hopefully in May, it depends how quick our mechanic gets the engine finished. So if you're interested in our future travel vlogs, make sure to subscribe to this channel. We also plan to rent our buses out on Outdoorsy in the future. So if you ever want to rent one, uh, look at the link in the description. We'll put the link of our posting as soon as it's ready. Obviously it's not ready right now. Buses need a little bit of work but look for that in the future. Conveniently, we just got our first bus back from the mechanic, so Mitchell's been working hard on it this week. He is filming the whole process, so be on the lookout for the videos of the conversion. And if you guys want videos on like what the rental process is like, let me know. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, bye.